Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Elliot Brown here with Essex Business Radio. And this is the fifth of a very special series of podcasts that I'm doing on Zoom, as a lot of you know, because we've had to adapt and change the business uh, and change what we're doing. Um, but uh, this is uh, C19, how we deal with it. And uh, I've had a lot of response from uh, some posts that I've done on uh, social media uh, for, for people, not just here in Essex in the UK or across the UK, but globally as well. Uh, and this is the first of the inter one of the international uh, I'm doing with America um, with now I've got to get this gentleman's name right <laughs> it's Christian Love Risich you got it Love Risich ah. yeah you got it <laughs> uh, thanks very much Christian how you doing you all right I'm good man thank you for having me I'm, I'm, I'm really thankful for you having me on I'm, I'm ah, really enjoying it. it. My absolute pleasure. Thanks very much for for joining me on this show. Um, of course. And uh, you know, you're you're in uh, Fort Lauderdale. That's right. Correct. Yep. Lauderdale, Florida, South Florida, where yeah. all the crazy people are. Where all the crazy people are. Yes. are the, what's the weather like down there? Is it good? It's beautiful, man. Too bad we were not supposed to go outside. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no. it's it's like I'm looking out my window and it's just like perfect and. You know, I'm not gonna lie though. Ninety percent of the year is perfect, but it's 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 a torture that you can't. You know, we're not allowed supposedly not allowed to go outside, even yeah. though people don't listen. Yeah. Um, well, you've just yeah. you guys just been shut down as well. What's the date today? Is it the fifth of April? Is it? Is it the fifth today? It's the fourth. Four, the fourth of April. Okay. I was, I was yeah. going to say that because when people listen to these back, I should really sort of say the date at the beginning of these because I think as we do these shows, there's going to be a huge amount of change going forward. And so it's probably a good idea to timestamp them. So you, you, and you've just been shut down there in Florida, right? Re recently locked down. Have you properly? Yeah, properly. Officially, I think we, we got shut down. Uh... I don't know. I think it's been a week and a half, two weeks, something like that. I mean, it depends what part of Florida, like the whole state. Like Florida got shut down, I think it was two weeks ago. Right. But the whole state, uh, you know, uh, officially was like, a, I want to say like a week ago. Yeah. That. Yeah, I think yeah. it was. I mean, I, I think I heard that it would probably, that as in, it was a bit relaxed and then it was sort of properly sort of closed about about a week ago. Or so. I, I say closed, it's not closed, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I uh, mean, I mean, I'm luckily, you know, I, I, we're going to talk about this, but I work from home. So the only time we leave the house is for like super essential stuff. And yeah. I don't eat, I barely even leave. It's most of my wife just to get like, you know, essential stuff like food and, you know, that kind of stuff. And yeah. uh, because, you know, we have a, an eight month, you know, a kid. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we're don't want to risk anything. Congratulations. You know Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So we don't want to risk anything. You know, we're, we're following the rules, staying home. Luckily, we both are lucky that we can work from home. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And we've yeah. been doing it for a while. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. So, t so tell me a little bit uh, about your business. I mean, I know, I know from, cause we've had a, just a quick chat as I always do with everybody that I speak to uh, before I do a podcast, but um, you, you've recently got into podcasting, but that's not your, that's not your sort of main business. So, so tell us a little yeah. bit about your, about your business itself. All right, so uh, I specialize on, on uh, digital media and marketing. I specialize yep. on e-commerce uh, sales, direct ROI results on investment. Yep. Uh, been in the digital marketing for over 10 years, marketing and sales in general over, I don't know, over 20, close yeah, to 25. Okay, okay. wow, big, change, um, big changes so in that time, hey? Big changes, yeah, because I mean, it's, it's, it's grabbing the, the, the knowledge that you have in sales and marketing and applying yep. it in the digital world. Yeah. Uh, and this is what we were talking about, you know, before we started recording course, is yeah. that a lot of people focus on all this little hacks for like Facebook ads or Google ads or whatever to try to uh, game the algorithms. Yeah. But 50% of the battle is having a good product, a good offer and a good message. You yeah. know what I mean? You only and think 50%. Where, <laughs> yeah, it's 50%, believe it or not, especially yeah, yeah. with AI now, you know, they, it, it does a lot of the work. So, yeah. you know. People like to focus on that stuff, and I get. I used to be like that too, so I get it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And so, so you, so you run the business from from home, and 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 you have you have always done that, have you? Yes, always. Uh, so uh, you know, when I started on my own, I launched uh, when my first brick and mortar business I had in Texas, and when the economy crashed, it went along with it, and I didn't do anything for like wow. a, a few years. And yeah, right, okay. And believe it or not, I stumbled into the whole. Uh, well, back then you could build a store online, but you know, if, if, if you wanted to get products, you literally had to find a supplier, yeah. phone calls or yeah. fly out to China and, and get the suppliers and all that stuff. Sure. And it just happened. Believe it, It's crazy. Like one day I was on Facebook, just scrolling through my feed and I saw a post by one of my friends right. about Facebook ads. And I was like, Hmm, I use Facebook all the, all the time, you know? Yeah. And then I, 
I went down the, the, the rabbit hole and I yeah. found Facebook ads and then I met, you know, people next thing, you know, I have full access to suppliers in China and America and I could get whatever I wanted, print wow. on demand products and then Shopify launch. Yeah. Which that was a game changer because, yeah, completely. you know, at that time the only way you could have an e-commerce site was with something like Magento, which yes. the Villa Magento oh. store was yeah. like, Complex, I priced it at one point, it was like 30 grand, you yes. know, and I didn't even know what I was doing. Uh, so it, it was, you know, WordPress and Shopify, definitely game changers and, and Shopify just took it to the next level because yeah. when people created all the apps that you can apply to your store, it's all a supply chain on yeah. autopilot, yeah, you know? Yeah, so if you knew how to run Facebook ads when they became public at that time, which I was lucky enough to catch the, what we called in the business, the long tail, the intel of the gold rush of Facebook ads. Yeah. I mean, people don't know this, but at that time, a $20 shirt that you put $5 a day behind it, if yeah. it was like a passionate audience, like let's say cats, you yeah. know, and it was a funny cat shirt. Yeah. I would literally put $5 a day and those $5 a day will make me two grand in one day yeah. in shirt sales. That's mad. That's, That's mad. how I cheap mean, it, it was. Insane. It's changed yeah. now. Wow. And that was at the tail end of the gold rush. So yeah. there's people that caught it way before that. Wow. So they were spending like a couple bucks and making, and they already knew yeah. how to hit those niches and they had experience in those niches. And they, yeah. I mean, millionaires, there's a whole new wave of millionaires. That came oh. From that. oh yeah, for sure. Um, it's crazy. It's insane. You know, for sure. and you can still do it, but it takes a little bit more work now and more money, yeah. but you know, it's still there. So you, so you, so you had to, I had to ad adapt to changes, what sort of 10, 12 years ago then really, didn't you? And sort of pick up things then. So you're quite an adaptable guy. Yeah, man. Every day, every day, especially when you're working with these digital platforms, you know, uh, you want, the one problem that you have right away, if you know what you're doing is you're going to grow it exponentially. I can't even say the word exponentially. 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 Yeah. That's it. Uh, sorry. <laughs> English love, second language. Love, love research and exponentially. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing all right. Exponentially. So, far. <laughs> so you grow exponentially if you know what you're doing. And then next yep. thing you know, it's like, you need people. Right. And, yep. um, you know, uh, there's a book out there called, uh, by Tim Ferriss. It's called the four hour work yep. week, I believe. Four hour the four work, hour week, work yeah. week. And that's when he talks about, you know, virtual assistants and all that good stuff. And, yep. uh, that's how, what I started learning. And, and that's what really made it easy for me and set, you know, the stage for where I'm at now yeah. is I started hiring all these people in like countries like the Philippines and uh -huh. India and, yeah. you know, Eastern Europe. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was, you know, you, you pay him, uh, you know, you're making us dollars and, you know, you pay him three, five, six dollars an hour. And that's yeah. a great salary over there. I mean, I, you know, I have people that have been with me for years and they get paid a little more than that now, but it's a very comfortable life, you know, yeah. when, yeah. when you can pay him like that and and they get it done and when you know you automate everything with there's so many platforms out there you know now everybody's it's funny to me because i'm seeing like everybody's like zoom all of a sudden blew up everybody's yeah. using zoom i'm like yeah man where have you well, guys it, been, it, zoom been? it works it works well doesn't it to be honest it yeah. does i use it daily for my business so yeah. the, the zoom is one of the tools that i use daily uh slack it's another one of the the tools that I use. Yeah, daily. I mean, Slack is something that I've I've used previously. I'm not a massive lover of it, to be honest. I think it's a bit clunky, but I think it, I think once you've got it, if you're all using it well, fine. But um, yeah, it's a little bit clunky. But once you get the hang of it and you yeah. know how to like organize your channels and yeah. how it works, it's really streamlined because everybody can communicate communicate through these channels directly. Yeah, and it's just you have an assembly line. So, yeah. for example, we we're talking about this earlier for. Yeah. All right, so for the agency side of things, yeah. all right, I'm gonna use this example. So we have a channel for each client, uh -huh. all right? So we have the Google side, we have the Facebook side that I'm in yep. charge of, and we have copywriters, and yep. we have graphic designers and video. Uh -huh. So we have each channel for each client. Yep. So we all know what's going on at all times. Sure. And you know, let's say I up upload, uh, I need, all I have to say is like uploading 10 new campaigns today, I yep. need new creatives because you know we know the, the processes. Uh -huh. And all I have to do is, you know, I get the notifications ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. And everything goes into the Google drive yeah. in each specific and so folder. So you've, got your, to you've go. got your projects there. So you use it as a project management tool as well. as Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, properly, so yeah. when I send a message of, Hey, I'm loading these campaigns, they already know what I'm up to. So by the time I'm, I open Facebook, I start creating the campaigns itself, which is very time consuming. Yeah. By the time I get to the ad level of things where I have to upload all the ad copy and the images and all that, yeah. It's ready to go. I just yeah. have to open the folder and it's like, it's there. 
Yeah. So I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of a pain to figure all this out. And then, uh, uh, yeah, I think you and I need to have a chat off air. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, man. Yeah, I will, work, I will walk you through it. Yeah. And then you have uh, we another tool that we use is called Trello. Yeah, Trello. Uh, that's so like, Trello is a good tool. I mean, I've, I've, I know that from 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 other people that used it. Something I've yet to sort of get involved, get get into. But I think as we had a chat before before recording, a um, mm-hmm. lot of changes going on. We absolutely need to with the way that we're, I've changed the business and changed what I'm doing personally. Yeah, we've got, we've got to start using tools like this. And, uh, and uh, this is a great subject matter to be talking about for everybody, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Trello is fantastic to keep track of each project, you know, you, so you can, you know, keep track of it in one board. Yeah. Um, and then the other one that we use all the time, uh, it's Zapier. Zapier is amazing. I don't know okay. if you know what Zapier is, but yeah. it's, it's an automation tool. Uh, and you can create these things called zaps. And what it does is it's, for example, um, let me give you an example. Okay. So if I post something on my, uh, Twitter feed, yeah. if I post something on my Twitter feed, but I want it to go on Instagram and I yeah. want it to go on Facebook, Yeah. but I don't want the same format. I want it, you know, uh, I want the format so this changed is a, this specific is a better to version each of platform. Speaking, yeah, so you can actually make it so it automatically reformats the picture, changes the hashtag and the yeah. caption, yeah. and it uploads to each different platform automatically. Right. So okay. you get, you can build all these apps. So for example, if you have um, you have an email list and you yeah. want to keep track of your responses based on uh, niche or client or LinkedIn yeah. or whatever, whatever your source is coming from. Yeah. So let's say you send your email blast. And, uh, or, or a funnel, somebody opts into a funnel and you yep. want to put them in a specific list uh-huh. when they opt in into the funnel, yep. it will send a zap to a Google drive, to a Perfect. Google doc, and yep. it will put it in a spreadsheet for you. So it's ready to go. So nice. when we use that, we use those spreadsheets is to create custom audiences for ads, Lovely. you know, for cheaper ads. Lovely. So there's a lot of things you can do with it yeah. for sure. Yeah, I love, I, I absolutely love that. There's, I mean, there's a, there's a lot for people to be ta- to take from that because uh, I think, uh, and you know, every every time I talk to everybody at the moment, you know, the way business is changing completely and literally overnight now, people they're going to be working remotely, in essence, autonomously. We want our businesses to be able to run in the future now. You know, absolutely. you want so, and if you can do that, these tools, these 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 uh, these things that you can use out there are all to help you do that. And it's tight, it's time, it's time saving. Um, in essence is money saving as well um yeah there's, there's a lot to be taken I've, I've taken from that as well to be honest and i know a lot about these things so um so there's gonna be a lot of people out there that don't know half the things that uh, that, that i know so yeah that's um, there's some good tips there mate definitely yeah i mean if i had to do like right now i decided uh three months ago to grow my personal brand right yeah. you know that brings everything into my ecosystem of, of yeah. the business that i do yeah. right so so the game the name of the game is content. If you get yeah. content out there, eventually it's not going to be immediate. It's not going to be right away, but eventually it's going to come back to you yeah. 10 times better. Yeah. And, sure. uh, you know, uh, I can go into about this all day, but when you're, <laughs> because, yeah, because you're passionate about it. That's why I am. I love it, man. I love what I do. So <laughs> when, um, if, if I didn't have these tools to automate all of this, there's no way I would, we wouldn't have the time would today, would you? No, you have the time. absolutely not. Yeah. No way. No way. And, uh, I mean, basically the, the, the information's out there. You just got to do a little Google search and just think about it. I tell, I tell people all the time, like whatever's in your head, whatever the yeah. question is, just Google yeah. it and yeah. you'll yeah. find, yeah, yeah, for sure. you know, a million things for it, especially YouTube. You know, YouTube yeah. is a great source for answers yeah. too. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. So, so I, I think we could do more of these and I think maybe we'll have a little chat about maybe doing, doing some more of this stuff and absolutely, uh, yeah. other, other, cause there's some great tips and things. So we'll, we'll have a chat off air. Um, so, so really, I mean, but work-wise hasn't massively impacted you as, as it hasn't, as it hasn't me. Well, it's in fact impacted one of, part of the business hasn't impacted the way I, I live and work because I, I live and work in, in, in just out of soft off the house, but in that environment like you do as well. So has it impacted you hugely apart from not going out as much? Uh, yes and no. So the, the, I'm a very, I like to get out of the house a lot because okay. I work from home. So it's yeah. like, I get tired of seeing the same walls yes, every day. For sure. Yeah. So I like to go out, you know, um, people don't know this, but I skateboard one, one hour a day. I do, <laughs> you yeah. know, I've been skateboarding since I was a kid. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost cool. 40 now. I still well, do know it now. <laughs> yeah. I go to the gym, you know, I go to the gym too, to break up the day. Yeah. Um, so I have that freedom that I can do that. But I mean, what really has impacted it's not so much the workflow for me but definitely the rec- uh the the right proportions of economically you know yeah yeah uh so i deal with a lot of uh you know digital clients um yeah. 
So it, of course it has affected the business, but yeah. it's very interesting because on one end I have some clients where their sales have skyrocketed yeah. because the ad costs have gone down because the big players, you know, that are, okay. don't have that cash flow that we all think they have, they have yeah. to pull out yeah. marketing, which is crazy to me because that's your sales. That's the last thing you should be cutting Yeah. or you know, no, sales in general. But then, I, and, and so some of them have absolutely dropped, like high end jewelry has dropped 30% in sales. Wow. Uh, so those clients, uh, you know, cut back. I've had clients who pull the plug all together, even though we have clients like, we can't, we can't, we can't. And they just I'm like, I get it. You know, yeah. I'm not even going to, I get it. Yeah, it, it sucks, yeah exactly. It. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to work with those clients. Like, listen, I know we have legal contracts in place and all that good stuff, but we're all, all we're all in this together. Well, you know, I thing, know yeah. it's so we're willing to, you know, to do whatever we can on our end to help you as much as we can. And, and we've been doing that. And, you know, luckily some other ones have, their sales have gone up, you know, fitness, fitness gear, people are working out at home. So they're yeah. buying stuff, you yeah. know, um, the one, I'm not too worried about my, my, uh, e-com clients because they, they will always find a, we'll always find a way for, for them to come through the ones that I really feel for the most it's local businesses, you know, yeah. especially in a, in a town like Fort Lauderdale. Um, uh, when I moved to Fort Lauderdale, it was 10 years ago. Right. Um, and that was right at the tail end of the, the economic crisis, uh -huh. you know, where everybody went broke or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, you know, downtown Lauderdale was, it wasn't a ghost town, but it was just mostly whatever businesses were left and a few restaurants and bars. And, yeah. you know, a year ago, it's just have grown massively and it's like bars, restaurants, outdoor type of businesses for like, you know, jet skiing, stuff like that. Of course. And of course, you know, they got, we got hit and yeah. you can see all this like local businesses suffering that don't have the, the cash flow. And this is, this is what I keep telling people because a lot of them, you know, have reached out to me um, because I've been here for so long. I know a lot of people and they're like, what should we do? And, um, and I, this is what I tell everybody. Yeah. Whatever actions you take right now, it's yeah. what's going to define your business in the next three months when this Absolutely. is all over. If you sit there and just panic and wait and just freak out, like, because we see this COVID thing all day long on our feed or whatever we look, yeah. Yeah. like you already know what's going on. There's, I mean, I get it. You want to stay informed, but right now you're locked up at home. Yeah. Okay. Your business is locked up. So you got to figure out, I tell everybody, you should be literally making like 10 videos a day on your phone about yeah. what is it that you guys do. Yeah. Don't yeah. sell them. And the famous words of Gary Vee and his books and all that yeah. is jab, 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 hook. Yeah. Create three pieces of content behind the scenes of what you do. If you're a restaurant, just show yourself like the guy's cooking, working, having a good time. Yeah. Hey, yeah. this is our favorite dish, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And then, you know, in the fourth video that day, hey, we're filling out orders. Just send us a message and you can, you know, people can pay you through Messenger, Venmo, yeah. Cash App, you know, and yeah. just get paid and deliver or drop it off at their, you know, you don't even have to like talk to them, just drop it off at their door. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's all you can do right now. And and those are, I mean, I've, I've been trying to help as much as I can with those type of businesses. I like give them advice and, you know, trying to help them set up some, some things. And yeah. some of them are doing it, you know, some of them are doing it and those are the ones that are getting. And those are the ones that are going to survive. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for absolutely. Sure. Well, yeah. you've got a huge amount of advice. I think we could we could sit here and talk uh, talk for hours on this subject. So we'll uh, I think we're going to have to revisit this and uh, maybe <laughs> sort of, right. maybe maybe choose a couple of no no don't no like, this is this is amazing. It's great. It's great stuff. I think maybe what we need to do is have a chat with them. What we'll do is we'll have a, we'll have a, we'll pick a couple of different subjects and things that, that we can cover. Um, because by Absolutely. the sounds of it, you've got a, you've you've been through a massive change already. Say ten years ago and, and had to adapt and, and pick a lot of stuff up. By the sounds yeah. of it, you've been like an absolute sponge and picked so much stuff up and and have utilized it that you can help a lot of people and i think there's a lot a lot, a lot of value in what you're saying for sure speak a lot i learned something i learned something new every day i i yeah. read a new book uh i try to read a new book a week so i mean those books that you see on my youtube videos or whatever those, those i've read i read all of those multiple times yeah. i mean it's just you, you got to keep learning you can't just sit there and yeah. uh, like i said the information's out there so well look so where where can people find you give us some we'll give us some links and we will put this around the uh, around the post that we do anyway obviously and uh, uh but where, where can people find you Okay. So podcast, you can find my podcast, uh, it's it, on every podcast platform. That's yep. pixel feed P I X L F E E D. Yep. And then same for YouTube, same for pixel feed media for e-com. Uh, if yep. you have, you know, big marketing budgets for e-com, we, we do that. And then yep. that's it. Just search, just search pixel feed and you'll find me everywhere. So, but for the podcast, it's pixel feed uh, radio and that's on every podcast platform. Um, Pixel Feed Radio, great stuff, and that's um, and that's the same the same for your company as well. That's your company's Pixel Feed as well, yeah. 
Pixel Fit Media. It's just Correct. just for yes. clarity. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, yes, sir. Well, all right. Well, listen, Christian, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, hopefully, we can, you can get outside into that sunshine very soon. <laughs> yes. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. It's been a blast. And, and thank you for everybody listening. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, great stuff. And good luck with your, good luck with your podcast. Uh, we're, we're, getting, we're definitely going to be keeping in close contact from now on. I feel like I've made a friend uh, from, uh, from across the pond. Absolutely. Anytime you want to talk, just reach out and we'll, we'll get it done. Great, great stuff. Well, that's, uh, that's Christian, um, and, uh, and I'm going to be signing off now. Thanks very much, Christian, from uh, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, and uh, there'll be some links around this. Um, thanks very much for, for listening and watching. I'm going to sign off for now uh, here from Essex Business Radio Studio. Ciao for now, brown cow. <laughs> thanks, Elliot. Appreciate it. Thank Cheers. you.